Hi, today I want to talk about one of the most common questions I hear from teams looking to run onboarding in HubSpot. And that is, how do I organize my pipelines? There's also a great new feature from HubSpot that makes that a whole lot better. So first off, why use pipelines at all? Pipelines provide a great way to visualize the progress that your customers are making through your processes, whether that be sales or onboarding. They also give you timestamps for every movement between stages in the pipeline, which makes reporting on movements over time much, much easier. You have a couple of options when it comes to organizing your pipelines. You can create additional stages in your existing sales pipeline. You could create a whole new pipeline for onboarding, or you could not use deals in a pipeline at all, and you could use tickets instead to create some separation. So what are the pros and cons of each approach? If you're going to add stages to your existing sales pipeline, you might have one place that people are used to going, but you're also going to create issues in your reporting uh, when it comes to mapping out how things are progressing over time, as you will no longer have a clearly defined end of your sales process in the same way. Having your onboarding pipeline be separate from your sales pipeline creates a clear distinction between the handoff from sales to onboarding and also makes it much, much easier to separate that reporting that I just mentioned. Using tickets has similar benefits to having a separate pipeline for onboarding if you're using deals. So the new HubSpot feature that we're really excited about at Arrows now allows you to have different properties displayed on your deal cards for each pipeline that you're using. So what we're looking at here is our example onboarding pipeline. And you can see that the properties that I'm displaying on this pipeline are very specific to onboarding. What is the next step that the customer is going to need to take or that we're gonna to need to work on for them to make progress? What is happening in the mutual action plan, the arrows plan that we have with this customer? We have this little plan summary, which comes from arrows. We also have the percentage completion of their plan. So what is the progress that they're making? And we also have some product data in here for the number of projects that they have created. But if I hop over to our sales pipeline, you'll see that we have different fields here. We still have next step. It's always a field that I would recommend having, but we're now displaying more sales uh, related fields. So we have amount and we have the expected close date. We also have a self-serve pipeline, which you may have seen in some of our other videos. In this one, we're purely displaying product data. So how many projects have been created and how, how many team members are on the account. We can edit these by going to edit stages. And then you'll now see we have this customized deal cards lives in each pipeline. So I can click into this and I'll see for the self-serve pipeline, these are the fields. If I switch this to the onboarding pipeline, you'll again see those same fields can be changed independently depending on the pipeline that we're in. So this is a quick overview. We're really excited about the new feature here to let you switch up what you're showing to your teams in each pipeline. If you have any questions, any feedback on this video, just let me know in the comments. Thanks.